Live from Philadelphia, this is Fox 29's Good Day. Uh, all righty then. Uh, would you like to take a champagne trip on a beer budget? <laughs> Jen Fred with the experts on traveling like a star on a shoestring budget. So, well, it's time to get in your mules and head down to uh, maybe your travel agency or whatever. Okay. Let's go on a trip. What do you say? Uh, the guys over at uh, Travel Zoo mm -hmm. know all about celebrity travel, and they know how to help you do a great trip for less. Jen went to the Hotel Monaco to get them to deliver the deals. Basically, it's travel like a celebrity, but we don't have to do it for millions and billions of dollars. Gabe from Travel Zoo is here. This is exciting. Yeah, well, there's a way to, to you know, feel like you're getting pampered just like the celebs you, you know, we know and love, but uh, by saving some money at the same time. It, a lot has to do with destination, flexibility, seasonality. Okay, so talk to me about Disney World. I know that I can stay in a really low price hotel. Yeah. But if you're going to go, you might as well do it like, you know, people like Tina Fey right from Delaware County. Yeah, visit. Tina Fey, Julie Bowen, uh, all these new parents, Rebecca Romaine, that the kids are the great equalizer. They want to go to Disney World, so do we. Yeah, you can actually stay in two-bedroom uh, villas for under $80, $90 a night. There's a lot of competition on the ground, but if you're going to go high-end, look at a place like the Five Star Waldorf Astoria out there, 500 acres, uh, great golf course, multiple pools, multiple restaurants down the street from Walt Disney World, but if you want to just stay at that hotel for a couple of days, that's okay, too. About $211 a night to stay at the Five Star Waldorf that's Astoria amazing. over the next few months, yeah. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about Los Cabos, Cabo uh, San Lucas. We, we always we see everyone down there on all the celebrity websites. We can do it too. Absolutely, with Jennifer Lopez, uh, you know, Carrie Underwood, uh, all the good looking folks go down there. <laughs> the proximity to LA is huge. It's about a two hour flight out of LA, so celebrities like to go down there. A lot of secluded resorts, a lot of all inclusives, but you can go high end. For example, the Westin Los Cabos Resort and Spa, which is right on the water, beautiful infinity pools, great service, about 179 a night over the next few uh, months, and that comes with breakfast in the morning, and then you're right in the heart of some of the best beach uh, activities there in San Jose del Cabo. I would like to travel with you because clearly you know what you're doing. Now, I'm sometimes a reluctant cruiser, yeah. but you say cruising, it's getting better and you have a deal for that. Well, the, think about the Mediterranean where George Clooney, Tom Hanks, uh, you know, Speak where uh, uh, yeah, Justin Timberlake language. and Jessica Biel got yes, married yes, out yes. there. Uh, you know, we're talking history, culture, cuisine, and the beautiful ports of call. Cruises can be a great way to hit up all these ports. Uh, some value cruises for last minute. You can do a week-long cruise from, say, Barcelona to, uh, you know, Rome for under 400 a night if you're willing to go last minute, by four, uh, 400 for the week. But you can then go high-end, Windstar Cruises, very upscale cruise line. We're talking yachts with billowing sails, yes, yes. 150, 200 people, ocean view cabins all around. You can do a seven-night cruise, for example, from Rome to Barcelona for about 1,799 bucks, but it's, it's all high-end. It's all white glove service, and you're hitting up kind of unique ports of call that the larger ships can't get to. You're hitting them up with these smaller, very intimate boutique ships. High five up top. So let's I go. I like this thing. Travel zoo, you're going to come back sometime. Absolutely, too? Okay, yeah. Good. And I'm going to find a deal to get here. Okay, please do. He's a cool guy.